Coffee chat day. Oh, camera got a bit rocky there. Coffee chat day 58. Sit down, grab yourself a coffee, and enjoy the vibe. So yeah, uh, before anyone mentions it, I know it's been over a week. I am trying my best, okay? Like, I know the upload schedule really hasn't been good, but... And, like, I owe, I keep bringing it up, and everyone keeps saying that's fine, but, like, for me, it's not fine. Like, I don't like the fact that I'm not uploading videos daily anymore. But, I can't seem to, like, force it back on track. Like, I feel like I just sort of need to ride out this little period where it's like, you know, the uploads are a bit rocky. And then hopefully, once I've written out, like, that whole thing, right, then hopefully we'll be back to, like, daily uploads and all that good stuff. But for now, we are struggling here. And truth be told, the reason why I haven't been uploading as much is just because I haven't really felt like myself, right? Like, I just don't really feel like I am, like, I just don't feel like I am the Charlie I need to be for the Charlie Coffee Chats. I feel like a different type of Charlie <laughs> than I'm meant to be. But, you know, like, it is what it is. It will be, like, it will pass. Things will get better again. But, you know, for now, I just don't really feel like myself. So that's why the uploads have been a bit more sporadic. It's just like, I'm only really recording when I feel like I can actually be like this, right? When I can be like, big, not big, but like, you know, when I can be like, more energetic, I suppose. But, you know, for most of like the past two months or so, I just haven't felt that way. And it has been difficult. To get videos up when you don't feel like you're in the right mind space for it but you know like it is what it is it'll pass it'll get better uh hopefully it will be even better than before and yeah we'll just have to see what the future holds And also, yeah, I missed the uh, beer chat for the weekend just gone, which is very unfortunate. But again, I just didn't feel like myself, so I couldn't really force myself to feel like myself, I suppose. I don't know if that sentence made any sense, but I feel like you kind of get what I'm trying to say. So yeah, like, that's the reason why the beer chat is missing, but... You know, like, we'll be back at it this week, hopefully. I really gotta stop making promises. It it just doesn't turn out good for me. But, you know, like, we'll be back. We'll, like, we will have a verso back period. And once that happens, we're gonna be chilling. So, yeah. Also, this is my first coffee today. It is like 5 p.m. I woke up around half one, I want to say. Like, I got to bed real late last night. And, yeah, like, this is my first coffee today because I didn't have milk. So I couldn't make coffee when I woke up. And I had to take a shower and wait for my hair to dry. And then, after all that happened, I could actually go out and get milk. But, you know, it was a... It was a long four hours without coffee. Well, actually, no, it, it went by pretty fast. Like, I, I just played games. But, you know, like, it was a long, long wait for this coffee. Speaking of games, I actually uh, beat Tears of the Kingdom in, like, a week. Like, I, I was really able to get through that game very easily. Like, as I was playing through it, I really wish I streamed, like, my playthrough of it. Because it would have been so sick. But, when I was playing through it, 
I very quickly became, like, all-powerful, <laughs> I suppose. Because my first strategy, the moment I got off the Sky Island, was go to Hyrule Castle and get, like, all the stronger weapons. And then after that, it was just hunting season. <laughs> like, it was over for any enemy that stood in my way. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty fun, but, you know, now that I've beaten it, I'm not really sure what to do, I think. I just want to become even more powerful. Because that just seems like a very easy follow-up, right? But I also got Hollow Knight, so I might end up playing that. The whole reason I, like, got a Switch again was for Tears of the Kingdom and Hollow Knight. And now I have both of them, so I can actually play both of them, and that's going to be pretty sick. I was surprised at how cheap Tears of the Kingdom was. Because in the place that I bought it, it was like pre-owned but it costed like 55 quid and that's like that is shockingly cheap because tears of the kingdom if you were to buy it on the eShop or something it would be like 70 80 so the fact that i was able to get it for 55 was like oh okay we're chilling <laughs> so yeah I'm, I'm very glad i got it just because the week just gone I played it a lot, and yeah, I, I ended up becoming all-powerful, and that was pretty sick. I think I want to try to do, like, a no-death run. Like, I just feel like that'd be pretty fun, because I died a lot in my playthrough, but... You know, when you when you die, it's just very easy to just respawn and then just keep going, right? But, you know, like, doing a no-death run feels like it would actually be very suspenseful in some sort of way. And I came up with a new Minecraft challenge, too, if any of you just want to try it. Basically, all the shittiest settings, like, go into the video settings... Set them all to the lowest that they can go. Set your brightness to moody. And then you can't punch down a tree. You need to go get an axe before you can punch down a tree. So you need to dig underground to find a mine shaft. But you have to do that with bare hands. And essentially playing through that is like hell. Because you just can't see. Like, you are just mining in complete darkness. And there is nothing you can do about that. Until you find a mineshaft. And I think that's a very cool way to just play Minecraft. Because, like, you're just making it so much more difficult to actually play the game. Which I suppose is what a challenge should do. But, you know, like, it's still pretty sick. And, like... It's nostalgic in a way, too, because, you know, the graphic settings are awful. So it's like, it brings you back to before you found out, like, how to actually optimize Minecraft. And then you can just go back to that, and it's like, chill. It's awesome. And I should really, like, start a gaming channel. Like, I feel like that would be a pretty fun thing to do. But I'm not really sure how to actually record games. So I'll have to learn. And honestly, I don't think my laptop would have the heart for that. <laughs> I think it would die if I tried to, like, live stream Minecraft or something. But, like, there's a lot of shit that I want to live stream. Well, there's just a lot of shit I want to do, honestly, for, like, YouTube stuff. And honestly, I feel like, at this point in time, I feel like we do need to branch out. Because, you know, we hit 1K. And now it's like, alright, now we need to change it up, I feel like. But maybe that's just me. I'm still going to be doing the coffee chats, obviously. But... I feel like there's a lot more stuff that I could be doing on YouTube than just 
coffee chats, advice videos, and Bible readings, right? Well, excuse me. I feel like there's genuinely so much more that I can do. But I need to learn how to edit, and again, my laptop does not have the heart for that. I need to just get a PC. I feel like that's just the strategy. I just need to get a PC. But you know, we'll, we'll wait on that purchase, because that is a very big investment. I've been thinking about getting a MacBook, but I'm not really sure how much that's actually going to help. Hopefully it would be able to help, but again, I'm not really sure. Like the one that I was looking at had 8 gigs of RAM. I think that's good because my one, like my current laptop only has 4. So I think getting the 8 gigs of RAM might be the move. But, again, I'm not really sure, and I want to wait before I go buy, like, a laptop, right? Like, you know, it's, I feel like it's a fairly big purchase to buy, like, a new laptop or a new PC or anything like that. But at some point in the future, I definitely want to. Because again, live streaming games would just be so fun. Like that would just be such a fun thing to do on like a Thursday afternoon. Or even like right after a coffee chat or something. And that's another thing. I, I like live streaming the coffee chats. And I really want to like start live streaming the coffee chats more. But the thing is, the videos, they're only like 15 minutes long usually. And live streams, I feel like, need to go on for like an hour. Otherwise, they aren't like a proper live stream. But, you know, like, I don't really know. I definitely want to like get all the uh, link verification stuff. Because for anyone that doesn't know, you can't actually put links on your YouTube videos if you aren't like verified to do so. So I need to get verified to do that and then I'll be able to actually like make a Discord group. And I think that is gonna be like huge for just the channel and everything that I'm trying to do with it. Because like, not even just my own like goals, not, not just like the things that I'm actually trying to do but also just it'd be fun to just have a group chat not a group chat but like the discord server and you can hop in like a group call and everyone's just sitting there with a coffee ready to go and then you just like record that or like live stream that I think that would be a very sick thing to do alright Ooh, there's something weird in my coffee. All right, well, coffee's done anyway. So, yeah. Uh, all right. So, yeah, that's everything I have to say today. Thank you for watching, and keep running when no one else is.